What's happening, everybody? I'm Steve, and welcome back to Junk Drummer TV, where I give my initial reactions, my hot takes, and my analysis on the drummers of today and yesterday, and maybe tomorrow if I stick around that long. I'm a professional drum teacher and a gigging musician, and I have been for the last 20 plus years. Before I get into the episode today, I would like to let everyone know that I have a new show on the channel called Know Your Role, and it's an interview show. And so far, I've interviewed uh, Harry Myrie, which some of you may know. I've interviewed Steven Taylor, the drum teacher YouTuber, one of uh, my favorite drum, drum YouTube channels. And the next one that I'm about, oh, I've also done uh, Will Hunt of Evanescence. And the next interview, which will be in about two weeks, I'm just going to tease with The Sky Will Be Red the day I put out that interview. So today's episode comes straight from the comment section. I want to do something very different today. I haven't done one of these in a while. This name keep, kept showing up in my comment section. And in out of respect to my Japanese grandmother, step-grandmother, of course, I am not going to attempt to say this man's name. I ruin names that I can almost read and I'm not even going to try so everybody that wanted me to do him in the comments section almost all of them specifically said if you're going to do this particular drummer make sure you do a snare drum solo and by just by judging this screenshot this could be the the weirdest video we've ever had on the channel but I don't know so we're going to see before we get into it if you like what I do, and you think I've earned that, please give me a like, comment, and share. If you really like what I do, you can go out and check out my merch table, check out my Patreon. I have a PayPal uh, option. And also, if you dig it and think that you would like to learn from me, I am offering uh, lessons over Skype or Zoom. And just hit me up in my about section or hit me up on uh, Instagram. So, Let's go watch this guy do a snare drum performance. Okay, is this guy serious? Like, I like art. I like artistic endeavors. I like the avant-garde. You've seen me uh, do Brian Chippendale. You've seen me do Zach Hill. And I really dug that shit. Is he re-upping? More, more weaponry? <laughs> okay, so is this like a joke? Is he, is this... Uh, is, is, is this, is this supposed to like exist? 
So people who watch it and claim to like it can act like you're a pleb because you don't get it? And if, if that's so, I, I appreciate the irreverence of that. There are people laughing. Well, this is the most like real drumming that he's done. Oh, we got to get back to this. Okay, yeah, okay. So here's the thing that this could be done in in the same vein of what he's doing because there's a lot of just like performance art going on and I dig that I understand I mean I hear you you know performance art but like you know you do we can do a thing where we like pitch bend the the drum head and you can get like little melodies and stuff and it's a cool thing uh, jazzers do it a lot he's not even really doing that like he's just kind of just like Sticking a stick into the head. He is playing with traditional grip, though. <laughs> That's funny. I think that's like a really nice Yamaha drum, too. I mean, oh, come on, man. If you're going to do it, smash it. Oh, boo. Like, if this guy's going to really do the thing, let's break some shit, man. Let's fucking, let's, let's make a memory for these people. Like, I don't believe this guy. And please stick around because I am going to really sum up my thoughts. And it's not going to be as negative as you think it is. But, like, right here, I mean, dude, if you're going to <clears throat> deconstruct a drum solo, which is, I guess kind of what he's going for. Like, when he goes to, you know, blast this uh, snare drum down on the table, he lets up on it. He should have fucking smashed the table with it, like, WWE style. Watch. Boo. If you're gonna do it, do it. Ah, man. Like, I would... I'd much rather like it better if he had broke everything. But this is like a house show, and you don't want to fuck somebody's house up. There we go. Yeah, they said. Oh, no. Oh, God. So, like, people are laughing at him. Like, is he doing this, like, as a shoot? As, like, a real thing? You know, that's kind of wrestling terminology. Like, like, is he trying to break down the barriers of what is and what isn't music and, and what is and isn't performance? And, you know, a lot of people have tried to do that, and some people have done it successfully. But, like, he's just got people laughing at him. Okay, as a drum teacher, I am on a regular basis faced with music that I don't really like a lot. You know, I'm 44 and my students are way younger than me most of the time. So they come from a different generation and they bring in a lot of music a lot of times I don't like. But I never let them know that. And I think that instead of me making ju just another negative sh shit talk YouTube video... Let me leave you with this. Uh, if we all like the same thing, 
we all like the same things, this would be a very boring world to live in, right? You know, who wants to think exactly like the next person? I uh, don't get it. I'm probably not supposed to. Um, the people who saw it probably didn't get it. Kudos, man, because this dude has, like, I picked this video because I had the most views. It's had, like, 130,000-some views. So kudos to this cat. Can he play drums? Like, can he play drums? Like, I would like to I would like to actually do another one of him down the road if he, like, actually is a drummer. But again, all the comments said specifically get a snare drum performance. And I now know what they mean by snare drum performance. Uh, see, I would... Uh, man, the, this, the, the musician in me would just like to wonder if, like, he would have, like, really just played, like, a real sick-ass snare drum solo... Would those people have dug it as much? Did it <clears throat> did it have to be that for them to act like they were like like act like they were into it? It's not for me, but if it's for you, man, that's cool. You know, uh, to each his own or her own. And it looks like this guy's been able to you know practice his art. All over the world, because I think there was another video that I saw that was him in Germany. So, I mean, I hear you. I'm not going to hate. I'm not going to hate. Maybe when I turn off the camera, but not right now. I'll just, I'll end it with this and reiterate. You know, we all don't have to like the same shit. We all don't have to be the same. Because what kind of world, how, what kind of boring world would that be if we all had the same thoughts and feelings and emotions? This guy was trying to sh show some of his emotions in a very uh, unorthodox way, I guess. So, if you enjoyed all that, <laughs> ah, fuck it. Uh, keep practicing until it's easy.